right team, welcome back from your water break. We're gonna move into our strength, second strength circuit. We're gonna go through it twice. There's five exercises, just like our last strength circuit. And then we're gonna finish off with some stretching together. So let's grab a hold of your dumbbells. We're gonna do a clean to a thruster. So we're gonna pull the dumbbells up to our shoulders. From our shoulders, we're going into a squat to an overhead press. So what the movement will look like if I'm facing sideways, dumbbells come down your legs, kind of like we do a deadlift, we're gonna pull, catch, press overhead. Okay, so when we catch the dumbbells, I want us to sit into a squat on my heels. From there, pressing straight up. Let's do eight of those together. So hinging forward to our shoulders, press. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. All right, dumbbells come down for the time. We're gonna go into sort of mountain climber into a hip abduction. So what the movement will look like is in a tall plank, knee to chest, leg comes out, out to the side, and back in. Five of those either side. Straight leg when you bring it out. So knee in, straight leg out. Two, three, four, and five. Same thing on your other side. Nice and tall plank, knee to chest, hip abduction. One, two, three, four, and five. Excellent. We're grabbing your dumbbells. We're going into a single leg bridge with a chest press. So you're gonna hold the weights up above. We're going to lift one leg up, hips come up. When we lower our bum down, arms come down. When we lift our bum, arms come up. So eight of these together. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same thing with your other leg. Lower and press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice job. Standing up, holding one of those dumbbells. I want you to get nice and wide with your feet. Dumbbell will be in one hand. Your opposite leg is going to turn 45 degrees out, so kind of on an angle. Arm comes overhead. We're sliding down our leg, looking at our hand, bringing it back up. We're doing five of those. First side, that's one, two, three, four, and five. Switching sides. Press overhead, turn your leg away, sliding down this side. One, two, try to keep your legs straight as you can. Four, one more. Good job. Holding that dumbbell, we're gonna go into some skater chops. So, 10 of these per side, holding at your hip. You're going to skate over with one leg landing chopping across diagonally over top of your shoulder. Make sure you don't let go of that weight. 10 of these per side. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, give me one more. Good, same thing. Go 
going the other direction. So we want to make sure that we're not doing this too fast and so don't hurt ourselves. And we're generating that power from one leg. Down this hip, we chop over or walk it back. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, give me one more, ten, nice job, back up to the start, into our clean to thruster, both weights, eight of these together, we hinge forward, we pull, catch, and press, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Onto the ground, our climber to hip abduction, five per side, tall plank, knee to chest, hip comes out, two, three, four, five, again on the other side, one, two, three, four, and five. Let's grab those weights. Single leg bridge and chest press. Eight per side. Dumbbells straight up. One leg up, hips come up, hips lower. Elbows come down and back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keeping one of those dumbbells into our windmills, nice wide stance. Dumbbell comes overhead, foot turns away, look at your dumbbell, open up and slide down for one, two, three, four, five. Same thing, other way, press overhead, turn foot away, slide down, one, two, three, four, and five. Keeping your dumbbell, we're going to go into the skater jumps. Last time, one leg pushes, we land on the opposite leg, rotating that dumbbell over top of your shoulder. Do not let go. Here we go, 10 per side. We walk it back each time. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one here. Good work. Other direction, here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right. Finishing off with some stretching together, we're going to start off with a walking downward dog. So hands are underneath our shoulders, 
up on our toes, bum in the air. We're gonna walk our heels down, 10 on each side. You should feel this in your calves, back of your legs. When you're finished there, we're gonna move into our pigeon stretch. So bring shin in line with your hips, extending your back leg, holding nice and tall here. Deep breaths. If you can't get a stretch from there, you can move down to your forearms. Slowing that breathing down. 20 to 30 second hold. Excellent. Let's switch our legs. Same thing. Bring yourself down. You can also be up on your hands. Whatever works best for you. Laying flat on your stomach. I want one arm bent, the other arm straight. You're going to take the same leg up with the bent arm and bring it across your body into a scorpion. Stretching out your low back, 20 to 30 seconds here. Alternate to your other side, bent arm, straight arm. Bring your leg across your body. Back to the middle. We're going to sit back on your heels. Reach your arms out. Push your head through your hand or your arms. Sitting on your heels. Child's pose. Let's walk our hands up to the left. You should feel a nice stretch down the side. And walk your hands up to the right. Thank you so much for joining me for another week of workouts. Make sure to send me your videos and pictures to be entered in the prize for the prize at the very end. We'll see you guys next week. Have a good one.